Are you excited to find a website where you can get custom one-off parts for your Chevy Cruze? Go to supercruises.com today so you can make your ride even better. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Dave's World YouTube channel. I really appreciate you checking this video out. Why am I shooting another intercooler video? My first intercooler video I did a year ago and it was 45 minutes long and there was a lot of information in it that at this point is sort of useless. Since then, after doing this for a year, I discovered a lot of different ways to do the kit. And now my intercooler kit is so easy to put in and every headache you could possibly get while running it is completely gone with the help of the cruise community, the Dave's World YouTube members, and the people I work with who test my parts. I really appreciate everybody, thank you. So I've been working on different types of intercooler coatings and I wanted to show uh, everybody basically some of the stuff you can get on the website. This is not everything, it's just some of the stuff. This is basically what I would call the stealth intercooler. It's the same core as my regular intercooler, but obviously it's a flat black or like a satin color. I wanted to start showing everybody the different color combinations that I've been doing custom for everyone. Now, this is important. What I noticed is some people do like building their own intercooler system, which is great. What ends up happening is they get an intercooler core cheap. Let's call it like $200. Then they need to buy intercooler piping to fit the car. That's probably another three or $400. Then to make them fit, you have to cut them, reshape them, add a bead lip, and the tools required to do that sometimes cost about $300. Another mistake people are making is they get really large intercooler pipes and a massive intercooler core, put it on their car, they make it custom, looks great. It looks good in Instagram. The problem is I get messages all the time with people's cruises overheating. The cars are overheating because the cores are simply massive and you're restricting airflow going through your radiator. The other problem is just because you have a big intercooler core, no one checks to see how much flow you have through the intercooler. So now you're restricting your turbo. And then on top of that, you put a massive intercooler pipe system in and you're creating turbo lag. Another thing people do not realize about the factory intercooler on a Chevy Cruze is the boost sensor actually is part of the intercooler. It's removable, but a lot of times the bolt that actually holds the boost sensor in is stripped out and you can't remove it. And sometimes people don't even have the tool uh, to remove the bolt because it's a Torx bit. Uh, so in this situation, what I decided to do is every one of my intercoolers actually have a brand new boost sensor installed into the core. So all you have to do is just plug your harness right in instead of messing around with your original sensor. There are so many problems piecing an intercooler system together for the Chevy Cruze that you really have to consider every part you're buying to make sure it's going to have the car function properly. Trust me, I know I get lots of messages with people asking me for help to make their system work. By the time you're done getting all the tools you need, buying the correct pipes after you realize the first set of pipes you made don't work because they're just simply too big, changing out your intercooler core, figuring out what to do with the boost sensor. I mean, some people that I talk to spend upwards of $1,000 because they tried two or three different versions of an intercooler that they made themselves and nothing's working because the car just simply isn't functioning properly with the way everything is set up. I have a kit for you that literally bolts in the car, no headaches. I've dealt with all of them and I've replicated that for everybody who wants to have the same thing from Cruise Missile in their car. This is basically what the finished product is going to look like. It is a very large core. The intake temperatures are dramatically different between the factory versus this one, especially if you're a big turbo car. The point of this video is to show how easy and quick it is to install the intercooler onto a Chevy Cruze. A friend of mine lives about an hour away. He drove to here and then what I did was in about two hours, we took the car apart, put the intercooler on, put everything back together and went for a drive. It was that simple, that quick and that easy. And the only reason it took two hours is because I was hanging out and talking the whole time and I was having fun. I probably could have done it in about an hour if I was just left alone and able to work on the shop by myself. I keep talking. What I'm gonna do is let's just jump into the footage. By the way, the owner of the car on Instagram is known as Summit Cruise. I'll put a link to his Instagram handle in the description of the video. Also, don't forget to check out the other videos like how to install a blow-off valve, how to do the wastegate actuator. Uh, don't forget to check out the website, www.supercruises.com. And please, if you can, like the video. I don't ask for that a lot, but it's very important if I get likes because likes are actually the only thing that lets YouTube know that a video is popular. Believe it or not, it's not even just watching the video. Just throw a like up, you can do it right on your TV and if you're watching through the TV. I appreciate that, let's get to the footage. 
Attention members of the Dave's World YouTube channel. I just want to let you know that I have a super secret website for everybody who supports what I am doing. This website has every behind the scenes video that I have ever made, all of my past live streams, future podcasts, uh, future parts that I'm developing. You know, you'll be able to see things that you can't normally see that's not on my regular site or even in a video. I'm updating that site pretty much weekly. If you want to get access to it, you can email me directly. Or if you keep an eye on the community section of the YouTube channel, when I post, you'll actually get a link to that site as long as you have members access to the channel.